Hey guys, what's up? Hope everyone is doing fine. So today we are going to solve a new problem of data structure and algorithms, uh, which is diameter of a binary tree. So here we are required to find out the diameter of a binary tree. Uh, so let's understand uh, what's the diameter of a binary tree. Uh, in the given example here, as you can see, the maximum diameter uh, is nine. So the diameter is the difference uh, between any two nodes, right? Uh, the number of nodes which are there between those two nodes are uh, uh, it, it is the diameter of a of a binary tree, right? So here, as you can see, from here to here, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, which is maximum between any two nodes. You can check this one and this one too. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is eight, and the, here it is nine. So nine is the maximum. Here in this case, it is one, two, three. So uh, three is the diameter between these two nodes. So the maximum uh, is nine. So we need to find out the maximum diameter. Uh, uh, maximum difference between any uh, node difference ma maximum count between two nodes uh, which is going to be the diameter of that binary tree right uh, same for this example here as you can see there are three nodes so uh, from here to here there are three nodes one itself two and three okay so the diameter is three okay so uh, we are going to solve it by recursion so let's do it uh, let me write the code really quick and then uh, i can explain you uh, how it is going to work okay so here uh, first I'm going to keep a helper function and the default value is going to be 2 then I'm going to call my uh, helper function this is the variable default variable which will be there for every uh, single recursion call uh, which uh, by using this we will check okay uh, what is the current uh, value and what is the maximum value we got till so far okay then we uh, we will call our helper function which is going to be uh, diameter util okay and it is going to take root we will return self dot max right okay now let's do write this function here okay not dot comma okay first we will check whether the root is null or not so if not root return zero then we will uh, call this function recursively for left height and right height so lh LH uh, stands for left right or should I write it left right okay. uh, now call self dot diameter util with root dot left okay now call right height or IGSG with root dot right okay so this will give us left height and right height now we will check the current value of max height and uh, the value we got uh, with left right and right right okay so we will write it somehow like this uh, self dot max underscore h height is going to be the max between self dot max height obviously comma one plus left height plus right height okay and, I'll, and I'll, I'll, uh, I will explain you later uh, how, why I am doing this one plus left height plus right height okay then we will return one plus uh, anything which is max between these two left height or right height so right height and okay, okay I think this is pretty much let's give it a quick run and we will check okay so the output is uh, same as expected output so i think it's fine okay now let's understand how it is working so by default uh, the starting value of uh, max id is zero as we are keeping it here then we will call our diameter util helper function right which will take root so uh, in root it will uh, be here for uh, using this example it will be one right so for one it will come here it will check okay if root is uh, null 
so it is not null so it will not fall in this condition okay then it will come back here for one we will check the left height and uh, same here the right height okay so for left height it will go something like this we will uh, give it root dot left which is 2 for 2 it will come back here again right uh, it will check okay uh, root is not null so it will not return 0 it will come back here then for uh, left of 2 we will call again right it will come back here uh, because left of 2 is null right so it will come back here it will check okay oh uh, it is a null so it will return 0 okay for left height of 2 it will return 0 same for right height uh, it will be written 0 because it is null right for left height and right height is 0 0 okay for 2 right and uh, here we will check okay self dot max height is equal to max uh, of self dot max height so currently the self dot max height is 0 okay and 1 plus left height plus right height so left height and right height both are 0 so 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1 and self dot max height is 0 so uh, comparing these two 0 and 1 1 is maximum so we will update 1 uh, okay we will set self dot max height equal to 1 okay then here it will return 1 plus self dot max height plus right height so max of uh, left height plus right height is 0 0 so we will return 1 so uh, 2 will return 1 to this root node right so for this lh is left height is 1 till here okay left side same thing will happen for right side again it will return 1 to the root node so left right and right right will become 1 1 okay and then we will check okay self dot max height is equal to max of self dot max height so self dot max height is currently uh, 1 which is max right and uh, currently we have left height 1 and right height 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 so uh, obviously uh, 3 is greater than 1 so we will set self dot max height equal to 3 right and we will return here uh, 1 plus self root max height plus left height so left height and max height uh, right height both are same in this case so it will uh, be 1 and 1 plus 1 it will be 2 okay so uh, anyways in the last call we are not going to use uh, the return right so it doesn't matter we are just uh, checking for self dot max height so here uh, it will come back here after the whole recursion done and uh, okay we will return self dot max height which is 3 for this right so uh, this is how it will work for every example you can check it and if you have any doubts then do let me know okay let's give it a quick run for all the test cases uh, okay so here it is checking for 320 okay so the total time taken is 1.3 seconds i think it's pretty quick so uh, this is uh, how you can check uh, the diameter of a binary tree hope you guys uh, understood uh, the concept and uh, do let me know if you have any doubts in comment section and yeah uh, that's it uh, and also do not forget to like and subscribe thank you bye bye